uh, new trend is like speaking about personal stuff and relationships. But, but it is personal because those things, in, you know, those things affect people's lives. They affect our lives, and, and, and if they don't affect our lives directly, they affect the lives of our friends. You know, so I mean, it's or people that we, you know, choose to show solidarity with. So I think that those those issues, it's kind of interesting. It's not necessarily that we are we don't talk about personal issues. It's just kind of what constitutes personal issues, you know. In punk rock now, you know, um, my girlfriend left my me. My girlfriend like, left that's me. That's like, like the biggest problem in your life. Right. And that's the personal issue you're going to talk about. That's a big. That's a big you personal know? thing. But you know, I mean, a lot of Ralph's songs are about about how, uh, you know, police brutality, you know, is especially high in the black community, and how fucking you know racism yeah. and and the thing like CIA is about how this fucking country manufactured crack, you know, and destroyed and destroyed urban communities, which were primarily black, you know, I mean, so it all depends on what, you know, what affects you, you know, well, I guess, I guess to some degree that's an issue of, you know, whether you want to say class or what, but, you know, what, what happens in your life and who is affected and, yeah. and, and the all, immigration, all the rest of it. The Immigration and Naturalization Service is like, you know, telling me that I can't live with Snyder, that he can't be here, you know, that's personal. Yeah. That's personal, you yeah, know. Like it, it affects connects. me in a personal way. Person. Like, you know, I, you know, I had to go for the interview. I have to deal with these people. It's very personal, you know. Maybe a political issue, and I understand it as a political issue, like in my in my conscious mind as well as feeling it personal. But it's like, you know, it's really, it's all together, you know. It's personal life. and political is yeah. for, for us. It's sort of together. Yeah. We take it personally. We take it personally that our country is fucking people over yeah. in our name. Uh, you're, you're originally from Colombia? Yeah, I'm originally from Colombia. Um, why not from Mexico? Uh, yeah, that's a fun fun perception that everybody who speaks Spanish is perceived to be Latino comes from Mexico or Puerto Rico. But uh, no, I'm, I'm actually an immigrant. I was an illegal alien for 10 years. A wetback, if you will. Um, I'm out from Colombia. Basically, it's it's um, one really screwed up system. Um, immigration basically can do with you whatever the heck they want, and and they're accountable to no one. You're not a citizen, um, so therefore is the implication that you don't have that your rights are very limited. Although by the Constitution of the United States, you're supposed to have certain amount of rights, uh, which are even being cut off even more because of the new immigration law. Um, because you were supposed to have a due process before being deported and now if you leave the country and you re-enter and they do wanna what they call you exclude you they can do it without due process right in the airport as you're trying to re-enter uh it, it's really unfair it breaks up families apart it, it it's the result of of the economical upheaval that having first world countries and third world countries create it's mm -hmm. it's people in in sheer poverty it's the globalization of the market economies, uh, the corporate world being able to move anywhere else in the world and set up shop and be able to pay people a misery like, you know, 28 cents an hour um, and and then have them, them be able to, to pay local uh, police forces to oppress any um, attempts by the locals to organize in a union and so on and, and and repress them in the most brutal manner, even through death squads. And then when this situation of violence and, and economical uh, poverty puts people in a corner that they have to leave, then they're treated like, like shit because they want to uh, make their lives better and try to make a buck for their families and themselves. And um, when people have nothing else to sell but their labor, they try to sell it in the in the you know to the best market they can find, and that's ironically where the whole global market ends up being global. That's where the borders come up, mm -hmm. and that's where people have to stay in their side of the border, no matter how bad things are. And that, and you know, let alone the political situation in which, unfortunately, the United States has been uh, financing um, so much death and misery in third world countries that, that once again makes people want to leave and try to make it here, the land of, of the free of the free and and home of the brave and you know, minimum wage of five twenty five, which is a fortune to so many people. I work, I'm a vegan chef, although I'm not vegetarian myself, but that's how I make a living. Yeah, you are, you're a vegan chef? Yeah. 
I work at a mm -hmm. organic vegan restaurant in New York City. Mm -hmm. That's how I make a living. And uh, I'm an avid cyclist, to say the least. Mm -hmm. uh, I love bicycles. I think they're great machines. And I, I do dislike cars heavily. And I think, you know, this is such a heavy car culture. And if we could get away from cars a little bit more, you know, things would be a little bit better. So much pollution and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, my brother races. He's a bicycle racer, so I spend a lot of time going to bike races and things like that. And everything else just gets consumed by doing t-shirts and running my own band. I have a band called Wasipungo, and we tour and we play shows. And so I do my own record label. Uh, we put out our own records, and I, I'm uh, starting to put out records by other bands. My main goal is to do bands from Latin America that they don't get any exposure up here, so I want to press those records. And uh, we just started distributing a band from Argentina called Phone People. And we have been distributing bits and pieces of different bands. And i doing shirts and pins and blah, 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 the whole thing. Mm. So between all those things, it consumes most of my time. That and the fact that I'm really lazy and I like to sit around doing nothing sometimes. <laughs> The next song is called Keep Youth Off Judaism. And it's about... Fuck all religion. No, it's not just about religion. It's about, you know, Judaism in Israel is a really weird thing because it's uh, like your nationality and your religion and like... Uh, all rolled into one. Exactly. All the bad things roll into one. Like the... Like Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. <laughs> no, worse. Oh, 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 I can't imagine. How do you roll a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup? radical left wing like communists or Marxists they, they, that, that are in touch with Arabs and stuff like that, they, they, don't, they always call themselves Jewish and they really are proud of their Jewish even identity. Anarchists, they are the yeah, Jewish even anarchists. anarchists. Yeah, even the anarchists. It's a problem because people think that you're kind of renouncing to the whole like life experience or the whole like the roots or whatever. It's not, I don't think it's bad to be like a Jewish or New York. I don't think it's bad. It's not some of good or bad, it's your choice. But uh, as this said before, like, it's like if you're you're saying you're Jewish in Israel, you're like subscribing to the whole thing that, you know, the whole like oppression uh, convoy that it's, it's huge and you can avoid it. You, can, you cannot say, I'm a Jew in Israel and like say, but I'm not part of this, this and this. If you say you're a Jewish, you say you're part of this country and you say you're, you're gonna uh, treat the Arabs as third world citizens or, uh, and all of that. We believe in the peace process, you know, the there is a political solution to the but we're, it, on a pragmatic basis. We not believe yeah. in the, in the, the, the whole. But we support like the you know a Palestinian state. You know even though it sounds like it's contradiction.